The writing of the Bible began with Moses and the Torah. But it wasn't until the time of the Israelite monarchy, more than 400 years later, that the books of the Torah were collected and edited. What we know about the Pentateuch is that through a long process of oral tradition and some things written down like the Ten Commandments, there was finally a production of the books of Moses at about the time of King David in 1000 BC. What we know about the Hebrews, as they were called, it is that early on they had these sacred traditions. For example, about Abraham, very important traditions about the origins of what we would call ancient Hebrew religion. And these stories were told in families, told in religious meetings of various kinds, passed down generation to generation to help this minority group that had a minority religion, namely monotheism. When there was a monarchy, there were scribes who worked for the king. And they did the hard work of gathering together the oral and written traditions and producing the Pentateuch. The first kings of Israel also added their own books, known in Hebrew as the writings. In Christian tradition, they're called the books of wisdom. It's really clear that during the reign of David and Solomon, there was a concerted effort to gather all kinds of sacred traditions. So the monarchy is surely the period of time around 1000 BC when these things sort of crystallized and were collected and put together in what we would call book form, but on papyrus rolls. David wrote about half of the Psalms. The other half were attributed to a number of people including Moses. But the Psalms, many of them, have little headers that will say, this is a Psalm of so-and-so on this occasion. After the Psalms of David came the books of his son, Solomon, the Song of Songs, Ecclesiastes, and Proverbs. Now, the rest of what we would call wisdom literature, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and then the subsequent tradition, was a matter of scribes collecting famous sayings of Solomon. But even in the book of Proverbs, we hear that there are proverbs from King Lemuel or proverbs from Egypt. With the exception of Job, most of the wisdom books were written during the reigns of David and Solomon. But it was King Hezekiah who oversaw their compilation more than 200 years later. When he became king, the people of Judah were ensnared by idolatry and sorcery, and their scriptures had long been forgotten. Hezekiah vowed to abolish idolatry in Judah and turn the nation back to God. He destroyed the pagan altars, raised the temples to foreign gods, and cut down idols wherever he found them. But his spiritual reform didn't end there. Hezekiah tasked his scribes with recording the history of the Jewish people from the books of Moses to the records of his own royal court. According to the Talmud, the scribes of Hezekiah also assembled the writings of Solomon, an idea confirmed in Proverbs 25.1, which says, these also are Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied. They were also credited with compiling the early books of history in the Hebrew Bible. 